In breaking news tonight, a near-fatal motorcycle accident in the mountains of East Tennessee. No word on the cause of the accident, but the motorist has been life-flighted to the nearest hospital. I don't remember him putting me in the ambulance. I don't remember him putting me on the helicopter. When I got to the hospital, the doctors told my daughter that I was not going to live. They didn't see how I could. While I was in the hospital, this preacher come in, walked up beside the bed, started praying. When he got through, he walked over, took his finger, shook it in the air, said, don't you believe what they're telling you? He said, he's gonna be all right. I'm telling you, he's gonna be all right. And here I am. I stayed in the hospital in Knoxville for 28 days. And it left me in where I couldn't walk too well. I'd stumble around, sort of like vertigo, and I'd have to have that cane. And it was really awkward. But I didn't want to admit that I had to, but I, I couldn't walk without it. It's a weird feeling, I'll tell you that right now. You see, the answer for what you're going through is even if you- Pastor Galen had a, a healing service. If you can get to Jesus, you can get to your answer. I knew God was a healer. I knew he'd healed people before. I just felt like I was going to be healed. I went up to that healing service. I was prayed for, and I was slain with the Spirit. I just laid there on the floor for a while. It was a wonderful feeling. There's no way I can describe it. And when I got up, I had my cane in my hand, but I didn't need it, so I just got rid of it right there. And I haven't walked on one since. But I didn't feel dizzy, and I wasn't wobbling around, so I just turned around and walked to my seat. Prayer works, ladies and gentlemen. It does work. Just look to the Lord and believe. That's the main thing, you've got to believe. Because my God is real and when he heals you, he heals you. He does nothing halfway. <laughs>